Shalom, I'm Shani Ferguson, and your Hebrew word for today is Chanukah. But first, let me clarify a common mistake people make when they see a menorah, the kind used in the temple, and think it's the same as a Chanukiah. I'll share with you the difference, and perhaps next time you'll be able to impress your friends with this knowledge. It's quite simple. A menorah has seven branches, and a Chanukiah has nine. The nine branches symbolize the eight days of Chanukah and the shamash that is used to light them all. But did you know the word Chanukiah is not just used for the holidays? In Israel, there is more than one type of Chanukiah. Have you ever heard of a Chanukiyat Maim, a water Chanukiah, which is the water splitter pipes you'll find in every building structure that enjoys running water? Modern Hebrew is full of surprises and you could imagine why someone thought it looked a lot like the traditional Chanukiah. Hanukkah, or Chanukah as we say in Hebrew, is both the name of a holiday as well as a word used in our everyday language. Unlike words such as Pesach, Passover, or Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, which are mostly used in context of the holiday titles, Chanukah means dedication. It's true that many people refer to Chanukah as the Feast of Lights, which isn't wrong, since lighting candles in remembrance of the small jar of oil that is said to have lasted eight days is part of the holiday, and as it also occurs near the time of another famous holiday that incorporates a lot of lights, I can see how this description would offer a nice alternative for young Jewish children. However, Hanukkah is at its core the Feast of Dedication, specifically the rededication of the temple and the altar after it was defiled by the ruler Antiochus of the Seleucid Empire. In Israel, dedications are an important part of our culture. For example, you can have a Chanukat Bait, literally the dedication of a home. Chanukat Bait is the Hebrew term for a housewarming, a celebratory gathering of friends you put on when you move into a new home. Your friends will gather and rejoice and often bring small gifts in honor or in dedication of your new place of habitation. And if they are believers, they may also come and pray for God's favor on your time there. So as we celebrate Hanukkah this year, why not look at our own lives and see if there is any part we have allowed to be defiled and take a moment to ask the Lord to purify it and rededicate it to the use and purpose of the one who is holy. Happy Hanukkah.